Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a short tutorial on how to use a SAM Broadcaster 2. Right, um, to start off with I'll show you the different decks and how you can use them. So if you want to first play a song, then you can either drag it over to the SAM 2 area like that, or you can just double click on it, and then it will go automatically. Um, up here you'll see a little down arrow, which and then when you click that it says Auto DJ Mode, Play Queue or Manual DJ. I prefer to use it um, on Play Queue, so you don't have to keep double clicking. So, say I played them two songs. I double click that, and then when that's finished, I don't have to double click the next song, because it already brings it in. If you want to stream, um, just play music, then click Auto DJ Mode and just click play and after that you'll come up with another song and so on so this is desktop A this is where you should be DJing um, here is your encoders where you connect to different radio stations here is called a static relay graph this shows you the amount of listeners you have Currently I'm not on air, so it says zero listeners. It only does, it only works when you're on air. Here we have the voice effects where you can turn your microphone on, lock the talk here, um, or you can press the talk here for a short amount of time. There's the different volumes here and the fade in and out times. If you want to fade out a song, then just click on the fade to next song button there, and it should go on to the next song. So, here is the mute button. So if you want to listen to another piece of music to make sure it's clean, etc. And then press the mute button on your SAM, it will mute it for you, but not the listeners. Um, here's your um, songs. I currently have 390 tracks. Um, here's a search bar so you can search for different songs. So say I want entire cruise. Or not, or I could have, like, try have a jingle. You can just play that. All right, let's go on to desktop B. All right, desktop B is just the basically the logs. So you've got your FTP logs. You've got your power scripts. It's basically where you connect for MySQL got your event logs, so basically um, it shows you what songs you've played and how long each song was, etc. And it also tells you here if there's a problem with the song. On desktop C you get anything that isn't on desktop A. Like on desktop A I don't have DJ control. Um, if you click on the config button comes up with all of these, etc. As you can see, mine's registered. Because I'm not mean and don't yeah. And um, if you click hide, it just hides it and then you can double click on the sound button down at the bottom. And it will come up with this again. Right, so let me just do that. Alright. This has been my short tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed it guys. See you later.